case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a fascinating turn of events, United States versus West, an intriguing 1992 case heard by the United States Court of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit, centered around the legal interpretation of a defendant's mental state during a crime. The court ultimately contradicted commonly held views by ruling that the testimony of psychiatrists regarding a defendant's legal sanity ought to be admissible under the law. The case initially unfolded when Peter Elliott West, the defendant implicated in a bank robbery, pronounced his legal insanity due to suffering from schizoaffective disorder, a severe mental disease. Two contrasting medical opinions further complicated the situation, with Dr. Lawrence L. Jekyll diagnosing West with the disorder, but asserting he understood the wrongness of his actions. In contrast, a government psychiatrist from the United States Medical Center for Federal Prisoners posited West as a probable manic depressive and potential schizophrenic. Despite such conflicting diagnoses, the district judge enlisted Dr. Jekyll to scrutinize West and construct his defense. However, the judge unexpectedly rejected Dr. Jekyll's testimony during the trial, arguing it held no merit in supporting West's insanity defense. Shaking up the legal proceedings, the Court of Appeals later overturned this verdict, citing a rule that outrightly prevents excluding testimonies associated with a defendant's insanity defense. In an insightful revelation, the Court of Appeals rebuked the district court's misjudged exclusion of indispensable testimony. It stated that this oversight contradicted the defendant's constitutional rights and challenged the rule prohibiting legal insanity testimonies. The court suggested a potential retrial might permit Dr. Jekyll's expert insight on West's mental illness, albeit without allowing an opinion on his understanding of his actions. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class